Yo, what's poppin? <laughs> I'm really feeling this video I'm about to do right now. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video called um, Best Fall and Winter Outfit Part 1. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere up here. I'll also include it in the description. I had a ton of comments in that video, man. So this is the Best Fall and Winter Outfit Part 2. So I'm hoping that we can generate the same type of conversation. And um, I'm very excited to talk to you about this one, man. So without further ado, intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Riche from ChasingBrother.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the best fall and winter outfit part two. Extremely excited about this one, man, and I can't wait to show you what I have. Um, it's crazy, man. This is the second video I'm recording tonight, and I just realized that the first video that I did, the autofocus wasn't following my face around. So I'm not looking forward to watching that video to see that um, if whether or not the autofocus worked. Uh, hopefully it wasn't that bad so I don't have to re-record it, but with this one we definitely got it right. Uh, but like I was saying, man, this is going to be the best fall and winter outfit part two. Let's get to it, man. So the first piece that I'm going to show you today is a safari. Now, safaris are really, really popping this fall and winter. I've been seeing so many companies coming out with their own version of safaris. So it's something that's really, really in this fall and winter but the crazy part about safaris man safari is one of these things that i used to wear when i was a kid before i started dressing myself because my dad used to like safaris you know i lived in haiti growing up so they were the short sleeve variety they weren't like the long sleeve like the one that i'm about to show you but i feel like a lot of guys are starting to discover them now safari has been around for a very very long time man and the way that i would describe safari just like a cross between a shirt and a sport coat if you will I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but that's kind of like the way that I look at them. It's definitely something that you could wear over a shirt. Uh, you can dress them up by wearing a shirt and a tie underneath it, or you can just wear it with a polo shirt like the one that I'm wearing right now. For me, I feel like they look better when they're casual, so that's how I plan on wearing them. But before we get to all that, let me just show you the safari. So this is it right here. Now, what makes it a safari is the style. This one is from Yelsal, and it's in a corduroy fabric. And this is a plum corduroy. Now, Yelsa has them in multiple colors, which we'll be covering a little bit later. But this particular one is the plum. Plum is like a burgundy, so it's a very nice color. As you guys know, I really like burgundy, so this is the reason why I chose this one. Safaris come with four pockets. This one is the wide lapel safari. They also have the same exact style with the slimmer lapel. And with this one, you can even add a belt in the options when you're ordering this jacket, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. It's a Brisbane Moss. Corduroy, Brisbane Morse is really known for their corduroy fabrics. They're one of the leading providers of corduroy throughout the world. As you can see, it comes with really nice horn buttons. And as I was saying, it has the wide lapels. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can button this jacket. Personally, I'll be using it like a three wall two. So it is a three button safari, but I'll be using it like it was a two button jacket. So. I'll only be buttoning the, the middle button. This particular fabric is 11 ounces. This is fully customizable. So you would go on the Yieldsaw website, you would provide your sizing, and then you would choose the color that you want and the style that you want. So once again, they have a couple of different styles. This is the wide lapel, but they also have a slimmer lapel. And as I was saying before, this come in multiple colors, five to be exact. So this one is the plum corduroy, which is once again, like a burgundy, um, but they also have a cream corduroy. They have a caramel corduroy. They have a brown corduroy, and they also have an olive corduroy. So five different corduroy colors to choose from, all from Brisbane Moss, all 11 ounces. Now, as far as the price, these retail for $245, which is an excellent price for what you're getting. And one option that's available is you can have a belt added to this. It's an upcharge of $22. 
Uh, I didn't want to have a belt with mine, but if I do get a second one, I will have a belt on there just to have something different. But yeah, man, so this is the first thing that I wanted to show you, which is a safari jacket from Yelsa. I think they did an excellent job and this fit me really, really well after I sent them my measurements. It was a pretty easy process. Once again, the guys from Yelsa are very easy to deal with. They're usually very responsive on Instagram where you can also reach them by email. And um, they really nailed this, man. And um, I'm very excited to show you guys how I plan on wearing this. Now, speaking of on how I plan on wearing this, both of them are going to be with flannel trousers. So let me just show you as opposed to telling you. Uh, let me show you the first option as far as trousers on what I'm thinking, all right? So the first option is going to be with some charcoal trousers. So charcoal trousers are very versatile trousers. So I could have easily chosen a medium gray flannel trouser or like a light gray flannel trouser, but I do feel like the charcoal brings out the burgundy even more. These trousers are from Natalino. I spoke about them before. I'll link that video up here and also include in the description. So I'm not really going to go in depth about this, but this is Natalino, which is a brand from England once again. And this is their charcoal flannel trousers. Uh, I really love their trousers, come with a really nice rise. This is a VBC fabric. So this would be my first option as far as trousers for the safari jacket. So now as far as shoes, I'm thinking of wearing these with my burgundy split toe derbies from Act 10th. Uh, I did an unboxing of those shoes a few months ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll also link it up here and include it in the description. I do feel like charcoal and burgundy go really well together. So once again, we have the burgundy or plum corduroy safari, charcoal trousers and burgundy shoes. So that would be the first option. Now let me show you option number two. Now the second option that I would try with the plum safari would be green flannel trousers. So these particular trousers are from Spear and McKay and they retail for $158. The fabric is Bato Giuseppe, which is an Italian male that produces really nice flannel fabrics. And this is a really beautiful, beautiful pair of trousers, man. So green flannel trousers is not really something that you see every day, but I feel like green flannel trousers are really, really nice, man. It's not green, like in your face green. It's more of a subtle green. Some people might even think it's gray from a distance. And green and red or green and burgundy or two colors that are complementary. So I feel like this goes really, really well with the Plum Safari. And out of the two, this would probably be my top option. Although I feel like most people are probably going to pick the charcoal. Um, as far as what like, shoes that I would wear with these, I would wear my um, TLB Artista boots with these. I feel like that would go really, really well. If you're not sure what I'm referring to, a couple of videos ago, maybe my last video, depending on when I put this one out, I unboxed my very first pair of high boots from TLB Artista. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere up here, also included in the description. Um, this is the shirt that I would plan on wearing with this. So this shirt is from Yilsao, and this shirt is the gray version. So I'm wearing a black polo from Yilsao, so this is the gray variation of that, and I feel like this would go really, really nice under the safari. Once again, I do plan on wearing it more dressed down than anything. Uh, I really, really love these shirts. It has a really, really nice collar. I like the mother of pearl buttons. I like the cross stitch stitching. This one has blue stitching and the one that I'm wearing now has red stitching. Those are really nice little details, subtle details that really stand out to me when I'm looking at what to get next. The guys at Eosa really do a really good job whether it's with their shoes, whether it's with their jackets, whether it's with their trousers, although I haven't shown you guys any trousers from them yet, but I'll be getting some soon, or whether it's with their shirts, man. They really do a really, really good job. Yilsa refers to these shirts as their swallow neck polo shirts, and these are ready to wear. Just have to pick the right size. I take a double XL and they fit me really great, and they retail for $148, which is a great price, man, for what you're getting. These are excellent excellent shirts and uh, whenever I'm not wearing a button down shirt uh, I'm usually wearing one of these uh, whenever I'm dressed casually I really love these I have a few of them I have some from Natalino and I have some from Yilsa the Yilsa ones are my favorite and I really really like them so let me know in the comments number one how do you feel about safaris do you like them and number two which trousers do you think go best with the safari you know do you like the charcoal gray 
flannel trousers or do you like the green flannel trousers from um, Spear and McKay? So I'm really looking forward to your comments so we can have a nice discussion. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.